What's going on? Average Tech Guy here, and today we are back. More tech, more reviews, and right here in front of us today, I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Ten of the best cases that I have right now. I know it's, it's early, but this is ten of my favorite cases, the iPhone 15 Pro Max. So let's talk. iPhone 15 Pro Max, and it's been a while since I did a top 10 of anything, even a top five of anything. So here we go. We got 10 of my favorite cases. Now these cases are not gonna be in any particular order. I pretty much swap them out just depending on how I'm feeling, what I'm wearing or where I'm going. But let's get started with the first one. So, you know, the first one, of course, Apple does not have leather this year. So the Andar uh, Aspen, this is the Aspen. So if you go on Andar's website, it is named the Aspen, but the color is technically red. No, not it's technically red, but the actual color technically red. Uh, big shout out to Technically T. He did a big collaboration with Andar on this casing. But this is probably one of my favorite leather cases. Now, this thing is missing only one item, and that is the action button on the side. But you get a full grain leather on here. You get machine buttons right here. They are very tactile on this device. Really easy to put the phone in and take it out. So once you get it in, that is what it's going to look like no issues with this casing whatsoever and every case that we are going to talk about today that is right here in front of us every case is magsafe so just keep that in mind not if, it, if it's not magsafe it's not going to make the list just i'm just being 100 percent honest because that is what we're looking for in cases right now there are a few like honorable mentions on cases that we may get a little bit later on but for the most part you got to have magsafe to get in this competition so the Aspen from Andar, probably one of my favorite leather casings. Go by and check it out. I'm dropping links below to all these cases, so you can go by and do that. Now, when you talk about taking it out, it is a little snug. So you gotta put a little extra oomph into it, and you don't wanna scratch it up. So just kinda push, 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 and once it pops out of the bottom, you're good to go. So that is case number one that we have talked about. Case number two is really something that I just got in the mail and I have not taken it off. Like I've taken it off, I took it off just before this video. And when I got it in the mail, I put it on, just took it off and it really shocked me. This one right here is from Rinky. Now this is the Onyx from Rinky and I will tell you why I really like it. I have not even reviewed this case yet. <laughs> Once again, just came in. But for the most part, this is a very sleek looking case. And when you put the phone in there, it just gets even better. It's very lightweight and it looks really flexible, but when you put it in there, it gives you a lot of protection. You do have individual camera protection. So around those lenses are individual little pieces of plastic that are gonna protect each and every lens that are on this device. And then you do get a nice raised lip around that edge. There are no issues. This thing is not slipping out of your hand. It's textured all the way around. It has a groove right here along the side. Everything that you need in one case. I can't wait to like put the review out of this if it's not already out. It may come out before this video. I'm not 100% sure. But if you get a chance and you want something that's like very minimalistic and affordable, the Ringy Onyx is the way to go. And once again, it is MagSafe. So just keep that in mind. Every case that we are going to talk about today has a magnet in it, MagSafe. Now, let's go on to the next one because the next one comes in one of my favorite colors, which will be orange. And this is the Ultra Orange from Nomad. This is their rugged case. Now, it'll be prices up everywhere, so don't worry about the pricing. But this one is probably one of my favorites. Uh, and now, you know we got that color going on. The orange is my favorite. And this is really a rugged case. So when you're looking at this case, you get that orange backdrop and then you get the orange machine button on that side. You do get the action button up top, machine buttons right here as well. And then you get everything that lines up down bottom. So really no issues when it comes to this casing. 
fits like a glove, has microfiber lining on the inside. It also has that magnet that you can see when you put this bad boy on. Fits really well. Nice and snug. Groove right here on the side so you can put your finger there, thumb, other fingers over here. You do get nice rubberized edgings. So if you drop this thing, it's going to be all case all the time. You don't have to worry about it getting banged up, busted up. Any of your lenses getting hurt with the screen because there's an extra lip back there. Everything is protected. So that's why this thing comes in as one of my top 10. The Nomad Rugged Case. Go by and check that one out. It comes in a couple of different colors. So, um, and matter of fact, the Andar, the Aspen, and the Nomad both come in multiple colors. So, go by and check those out. Now, the clearest, most protective that I have. This one is from UAG. This is their Clear Pathfinder. Now, this is a new one this year. So. Pathfinder is typically going to be like a camo color, either a black or or gray, but this year they got a clear one and I love it. I love it a lot. The reason I love it so much is because I picked up the natural titanium. Natural titanium and this clear version go together perfectly. You can see that it looks really good. So you can still see that color that you paid for behind there and in UAG fashion, you get a lot of protection on this whole thing you get extra protection around those bumpers you get extra protection around the camera the lenses are protected buttons on here nice and tactile nothing to worry about like it's an all-around well-built case and you're gonna pay like 50 to 60 bucks for it but it is a well-built case and it has a magnet in it now I did say I was not gonna go in any specific order, but there is one case that is probably my favorite out of the bunch. So I'm gonna save that one for last, cause right now it is, it is my favorite out of the bunch. So I'm just gonna leave it at that. Now, when you're talking about protection and gadgets, this one comes in at, I mean, you really can't say much about it. Spec has the game on lock with the Presidio grip cases. I love Presidio grip just because it is very grippy. Sometimes these cases like the Presidio Pro cases are kind of slick and slippery, but the Presidio grips have these extra little grooves on the back. So you get a lot of extra grip on here. And this year they've added this click lock technology. Now, if you do have click lock and what I want to do is just show you how click lock is going to work if you haven't seen my video. So just stay, stay put right there. So this is standy grip. Now standy grip is basically a stand and a little holder for your Apple iPhone. So pops on, it's magnetic, looks just like this when you get it on your device. Has a grip here and then it has stand back here. So it stands up and you can hold it right there. Now what happens is when you take this off and you use a spec case, the actual locking mechanism and this little piece right here, they line up and it clicks into place. So it gives you an extra layer of protection when you're using this so it won't just pop off. And then you gotta pull it off. You gotta put a little oomph into it to pull it off, but this case, probably one of my favorite. It is, this is uber protective. And the reason I say that is because not only do you have the hard TPU, you got these nice anodized buttons. You also have the action button built in right here. You don't have to worry about it. You got the lip right there on your camera and you do get these edgings. Now the edgings right here, they add a little extra protection. And when you drop this bad boy, you got a ton of raised bezel around there. So you drop it, it's all case all the time. Say it with me. You don't have to worry about anything busting up your screen unless you drop it on a jagged surface. And this thing is kind of tough to get off. So you got to put a little, a little muscle into it to, to get it off of your device. But once you do all that, comes off, you drop it back down. Now, we got only a few more to go. And I told you that one of these is my favorite and we are saving that one for last. But let's talk about standing cases now because there are a few of these that actually have their own built-in stand. 
like this one. This is a silicone case from the company ESR. It's from their cloud series. It's their soft case. Now the soft case actually has a magnet back here, very soft and supple. And it is built with its own built-in kickstand. You see that? Built-in kickstand. Kickstands are actually really sturdy on, on all three that I'm gonna show you. But this one, super lightweight, cost you like 30 bucks you can't beat it it's like one of the best cases that i do have right now i like it a lot i've been using this one on a regular basis and i actually did a comparison between this one and the apple casing the esr case is just a all around better deal if you gotta have apple you gotta have apple but if you're looking for a better deal and something that's mag safe and that's gonna give you a lot more protection than apple go by and check this one out this is from the company esr this is their soft case and from the cloud series and it only costs you about 30 bucks now another standing case so we talked about all the 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 different little nuances of that one now this one right here from Subcase. This is their Mag XT. So Unicorn Mag XT has its own stand right here and it snaps in shut. So when you put your device in here, pops in and there you go. Peekaboo camera, just like so. You still get the magnet right here. You still get nice rubberized edgings. I like all of that. It's super protective, has a nice lip around it. You don't have to worry. You, um, the Unicorn Beetle series is probably one of the most protective series out there for your phones. So if you're looking for something like to to stop from cracking on some cement, <laughs> like if you work in construction, if you work outdoors, go by and check out this line of casings. They got you covered. They got everything you'll need. The Unicorn Beetle Mag XT, they have a Mag Pro. It didn't quite make the cut because it's a little bulky for me. But um, yeah, I, I knew Subcase. I've been using Subcase for years now. They got to make the cut 100% because they make some of the best cases and they have some of the best customer service around. And then speaking of customer service, now I know this owner like personally i know this guy we talk on twitter we, we message each other this is from caseborn and a uh, big shout out to harmless carl because this year he knocked it out of the park with this case this caseborn case is probably the slimmest thinnest most protective case that i have seen and i'll tell you why in just a second comes with two separate pieces so when you open this up you do get a front and you get a back now the front portion is just gonna snap on your device just like so and then you're going to drop it in just like that and then make sure that it is encased all the way around but when you do this typically these cases are really big and really bulky but this case from the V series from Caseborn Formerly Armadillo Tech, <laughs> he knocked it out of the park with this one. And it comes with the hideaway stand, the hideaway kickstand, where you just basically put your device down and you got any angle that you need. And you put your device down and you got more angles. So this is great, snaps back in place. Stand is very sturdy. You don't have to worry about it falling over or doing anything while you're using it. And then you get the textured rubber grips on the side. You also get tactile buttons on each side. And he thought of everything, he put the action button on there. So you cannot get much better than that. Great protective case. If you're looking for something that's gonna protect your device, like I said, once again, if you work in construction, anything like that, heavy machines, go by and check this case out. This is probably one of the uh, best. It's the, it's the right, as of, and as of right now, it is the thinnest, lightest, most protective case that I got in my arsenal. This is Caseborn V Series from the company Caseborn, formerly Armadillo Tech. <laughs> Oh, and I forgot to mention this casing actually comes with a holster. So you put the holster, let me show you, clip it on, boom, still very slim 
very thin and still lightweight and this activates dad mode so you put this on you got dad mode 360 degree really loud with that click but i don't mind it because when you click it you know that you actually turned it so big shout out good job carl you did a good job on this one when you want to take it off pops off from the bottom right hand corner and once you get it out of there you are good to go all right so got two more cases to go the uag monarch pro and I got the everyday case from Peak Design. Now, I know most people are probably saying that since this case is orange, like a rust orange color, that you are going to pick that as your favorite. And this time you would probably be wrong because this is not going to be the number one case. It is close because, I mean, I love UAG cases. What can you not love about the most protective magnetic tank of a shell of a <laughs> I mean it's just a nice case all the way around the pattern is nice it comes in different materials in here you can get either leather or you can get um, carbon fiber I mean you just really can't go wrong with a UAG case I can't I can't express that enough these things are like 8 16 to 25 foot drop tested they work in every situation they actually have slots for lanyards they match up perfectly down bottom with all our ports and cutouts they got nice lips around the front nice lips around the camera you really can't go wrong with the uag case 100 now these cases do get pricey so you're gonna pay anywhere from like 90 to 100 bucks for this case but you pay anywhere from 1200 to 17 1800 for a phone so get something to protect it i know a lot of people that got money just walk around with no case on their device but you know hey i pay for mine so and i work hard for my money so i don't want it to break so i'm gonna get a case that's gonna be protected and once again these are cases that i use on a, like I, I swap out so it just depends on how i'm feeling i go i pick a case and i'm good for the day so my favorite case right now <laughs> is the everyday case from Peak Design. Now Peak Design, I've had a couple of their cases and I got, let's see, boom, right here. iPhone 13 Pro Max. This was the first case I ever bought from Peak Design. Peak Design, I loved the um, minimalistic protective feel of this case. And that yellow is, <laughs> I like orange, but that yellow is nice. I wish they had made this in orange. That would have been dope. But this casing actually has everything that you need with the exception of one thing right now, which is the action button. And they've actually reached out to everybody, letting them know that if you purchase one of these, action button is on the way. So just stay cool, hang tight. Um, it has a, a different kind of lip on it. So if you notice, it's not just a raised bezel, but it kind of kind of goes back and out so it doesn't feel like it's hanging over the screen it feels more minimalistic but it's still it's still protecting if you get my drift like it's back and out versus up and over so it still sits your screen down in a recess and you still get lip around here so you kind of feel like you still have more screen real estate when you're using this I love it. I love the buttons. I love the way the camera sits right there. Look, boom. Lenses disappear behind there. Don't get no better than that. Everything matches up down bottom. All this stuff looks really good. It is magnetic. And the good thing about Peak Design is if you can see that square in the middle, they actually make custom like stands and mounts and things like that so i'm dropping a link below so you can go by their website and check all this stuff out but those custom mounts and stands and things accessories they don't budge when you put it in there 100 they don't budge and they also make wallets and they make portable chargers for this portable magnetic chargers so go by and check all that stuff out links will be below but once again, these are just my, I mean, and it may be some more that come in, but these are my first round. Like I've gotten, I probably gotten over a hundred cases for this device. 
and these are the, the best of the best that I picked. Now, everybody won't like my choices. 100%, I understand that. But this is what I like. Andar, the Aspen. Now, you can go by and get any color that you want. I picked up Technically Red to support Technically T. He's doing big things, so I always like to support other YouTubers when I see what they're doing, and I like it. Nomad Ultra Orange Rugged Case. UAG Clear Pathfinder. This is a new one this year. The UAG Monarch Pro. Caseborn V-Series, the Ultra Protective, and they do give you um, two screen protectors and cleaning kits with this as well. So that comes with the packaging on that. One that surprised me is Rinky's Onyx with Magnet. It surprised me. I really like it. It's very minimalistic, very lightweight, but it's protective at the same time and it has a really great grip on it. Spec, this is the Presidio Grip 2. The soft case from ESR with the stand. The UV Mag XT from Subcase with the built-in camera protector and stand combo. And then, got my favorite out of the bunch, which is the Peak Design Everyday Case in the Sun Yellow. These are my 10 favorite cases as of right now for iPhone 15 Pro Max. Hopefully, this has been able to help someone out. I'll drop links below so you can check all this stuff out for yourself. But until next time, Average Tech Guy out. Peace.